Hey guys, how you doing? Nate back with another pod review. Uh, this is a yellow ghost pepper. Uh, and this comes to me from Jim Johnson. Uh, you can find him on YouTube as Flaco Dude. He also does uh, some really great in-depth um, and honest pod reviews. Like your work, dude. Thank you very much for sending me this pepper. Uh, now, I have eaten yellow ghosts before, uh, just never on camera. So, uh, I'm told uh, that Jim's plants are putting out abnormally hot yellow ghosts. Uh, so, I'm going to have to see for myself. Uh, I've eaten a few of these. Uh, before again never on camera uh, and in my experience on average uh, they're nowhere near as hot as the red ghost however um, for the general audience I mean, it, generally I'd say the flavor is a bit more universally palatable um, and this is just a cool looking pod it's just a, a deep yellow uh, darkening the orange more towards the stem area. Um, it's bumpy. It's spiky. Very cool looking. Uh, let's cut her open and see what she looks like. Get that stem off a bit first. Put her right down the center. Very citrusy smelling. Very citrusy flavor. Very citrusy aroma here. And uh, not very many seeds at all. Uh, so I'm actually not going to bother taking the seeds out here. There's not many seeds to be spoken with. Right, this is what it looks like. It's pretty oily. Uh, it definitely has a strong aroma uh, and it has that boot smell. Uh, however, much more citrusy. Uh, not quite as much of a smoky floral aroma as a red boot. Uh, but not too much placenta in there. Um, it does have a vein that goes all the way down the center and it is pretty oily a little bit more of the stem got left there yeah smells good we're going to take her for a test drive here we go folks Mm. Very sweet, citrusy flavor.
<coughs> yeah. Yeah. Typical of a ghost chili. Building very slowly. But uh, this one, so far, very little by way of throat pain. It's mostly a um, stinging sensation in the front of the mouth. Roof of the mouth, tongue, sides of the tongue, cheeks. Not really too much in the throat. A little bit right there. But it is a ghost chili, so we'll let her build a while before we uh, decide how hot she is. But immediately, um, the flavor on the yellow ghost is uh, a lot more as I said before, universally palatable, uh, pleasant, than the Red Ghost. Uh, I happen to like the flavor of a Red Bucciolokia quite a bit, um, but it is an acquired taste. Because the, the Red Boot is very smoky and floral. Now, uh, heat on this one, at least so far, I'm waiting for that creep to keep coming, um, but it doesn't really seem like it's creeping further. That's about as hot as a really hot habanero. I'd say, um... I'd rate that if I had to guess on the Scoble scale around 400k something like that and it's definitely already peaked and already fading like that's starting to go away real fast which is abnormal for chili in the ghost family. Um, usually the burn is a long build, long hang time. Um, it's already faded completely out of the throat. Uh, and right now it's just all tongue burn, all roof of mouth burn. And that's starting to, to decay a bit too. I'm not getting that signature boot, whiskey chest, chest burn. Uh, that's not there at all. But very good taste in chili. Um, on flavor, um, it's very sweet. Very citrusy. A um, little bit of a vanilla note to it as well. Uh, it lacks the smokiness of a red boot. Um, and it lacks that floral taste. Um, for most, this is going to be a much more enjoyable pepper, flavor-wise. Um, on flavor, that gets a 9 out of 10. Now, on heat, um, it's not really that awful. Um, that... I'm going to give a 5 out of 10 on heat. Uh, that sits, I'd say, just below um, just below a yellow 7 pot. Um, it's to, I'd say, around red Savina heat, Caribbean red, around there. But, you know, not a bad burn at all. Very enjoyable pepper. Um, if you're interested in these, there are several uh, several guys who are selling them, and I will um, try to link to them in the description. Uh, you can also get seeds 
for this uh, from Jim Duffy at superhotchilies.com. Um, the plant is supposed to be very, 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 very productive, uh, much more so than the red boot. Um, all in all, a great chili. Uh, thank you, Jim, uh, for sending this to me. Check out his channel, too, at uh, Placo Dude on YouTube. I will link to that in the description as well. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, click the like button. Please subscribe, share with your friends, uh, leave a comment or two, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Bye.